All right. Hey, VC, how you doing? My name is Jamie, and uh, welcome back. It has been a few days uh, since my last video, and uh, yeah, for me, I've got to uh, do some catching up uh, in terms of watching uh, videos from the vinyl community, because it's been a busy weekend of uploads from uh, Tales from the Crate, from Blues Guy Vinyl, from Derek, uh, to name just a few. Uh, so yeah, I've got a lot of watching to do. Got to Got to do some catching up. Well, let's catch up uh, with some more vinyl. Uh, these are some recent uh, finds, uh, some recent pickups. Uh, this one I was uh, really thrilled to to pick up for a really decent price. Uh, this is the a concert for the people of uh, Campuchia. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that uh, correctly. And this was recorded uh, December 1979, not released until 1981. And I don't think any of the film footage uh, didn't come out till roughly about 1988. And as far as I know, this has never been released on CD or uh, digitally. But uh, what a lineup when you're talking The Clash, Elvis Costello and the Attractions, Ian Jury and the Blockheads, Paul McCartney and Wings, Pretenders, Queen, Rockestra, and we've got to Rock Pile, The Specials, and The Who. Unbelievable. And this is a double album, so you've got a full side uh, from The Who, and then you've got The Pretenders, and The Pretenders sound great, like really rocking hard on this one. Elvis Costello and the Attractions, you got Rock Pile, and then Rock Pile with special guest Robert Plant. And then you've got to One Track by Queen, The Clash, Ian Dury, and The Blockheads, and The Specials. And then you've got a number of tracks from Paul McCartney, and then uh, Rockestra, which was kind of the all-star jam uh, at the end. So I'll show you the... Uh, so this uh, came out on uh, Atlantic Records, a double album. And this was a special fundraiser with uh, concerts at the uh, Hammersmith the Odeon in London. And I'll just read you a little bit uh, from the liner notes that kind of sets the stage for the whole thing. On the first night, the concert series was kicked off with a solo performance by Queen. Second show featured Ian Dury and the Blockheads along with The Clash. Uh, night number three began with sets by The Pretenders and The Specials, capped by a three-hour stunning marathon set by The Who. The Benefit series came to a spectacular finish on the last night with full sets by Elvis Costello and The Attractions, Rock Pile featuring Dave Edmonds and Nick Lowe, plus a guest appearance by Led Zeppelin's Robert Plant and Paul McCartney and Wings. For the history-making grand finale, McCartney put together the massive Rockestra. Joining Wings on stage for the greatest superstar jam in UK rock history were three Led Zeppelins, two Who's, two Rock Piles, Gary Brooker, Ronnie Lane, an attraction, a pretender, and a host of others. So, incredible. And it's interesting, the uh, the timeline, though, with regards to this. Again, as we mentioned, uh, recorded in December 1979, not released until 1981. So Keith Moon had passed away, and uh, Kenny Jones had joined The Who, but this is before Face Dances uh, came out, so it's a kind of a classic set uh, from The Who with, with Kenny Jones, a brand new member with the group. Uh, interesting also, uh, when we talked about three Led Zeppelins, of course, we focused on uh, Robert Plant uh, joining Rock Pile on stage for this song, and and then three Led Zeppelins uh, on stage from a Rockestra. Now, instantly, you'd be thinking uh, Robert Plant, Jimmy Page, and John Paul Jones. Uh, Jimmy Page was not a part of this. It was John Bonham, along with John Paul Jones and also uh, Robert Plant, that was part of Rockestra. John Bonham would pass away September 1980. So Led Zeppelin were still very much uh, together at this point. And then, of course, by the time this album was released, John Bonham had died, and then Led Zeppelin had broken up. So that's, uh, yeah, that's uh, interesting that way. And I'll show you the uh, inside here, just on the classic uh, Atlantic label. But, no, I was really pleased to, to pick this up, and uh, it sounds great so overall, plays well. And uh, the Who set is really nice. Again, it's a shame that you've only got one track by Queen, um, but, you know, they have to make uh, cuts when they're releasing, like, a double album. But the Pretenders, uh, really great on this on this album. And uh, just fun listening to the orchestra and Paul McCartney and Wings, uh, certainly with an early version of Coming Up, uh, which, again, recorded December 79, this concert, uh, but the song Coming Up, uh, coming up wouldn't be released until the following year or two, that sort of thing. So yeah, just kind of neat that way. Okay, uh, pick this up. I can't remember whose uh, channel I had seen this album. I don't know if it was Blue 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 Guy's Vinyl or if it was Tales from the Crate, but uh, finally got around to picking this up and certainly at a decent price, uh, Sunny and Brownie. And uh, they have released a number of albums, but it's interesting that this one seems to be the album. 
and it's it's absolutely terrific uh, from start to finish. It's absolutely solid. It's just a wonderful album on the A and M label. And the classic gatefold there. You know, just amazing song list. When you kick it off with people get ready, you know it's it's gonna be a great album. You bring out the boogie and me. And this was on the AM label. Yeah, so I was really pleased to pick that up. Okay, absolutely. Uh, one of my favorite Bob Dylan albums. Now, Bob Dylan has so many amazing albums, but for whatever reason, I've always really connected uh, with Bob Dylan's uh, Infidels. Uh, this came out in 1983, so this would have been around college uh, time for me, and I just really enjoyed this album, and even listening to it again. Uh, Joker Man is such an amazing song. Sweetheart Like You, absolutely beautiful. Uh, Neighborhood Bully, just a great track that John uh, Cougar Mellencamp could have easily recorded. And then License to Kill, nice kind of way to wrap up side one. Man of Peace is such a cool tune. Uh, Union Sundown, it, uh, it's just a great album from start to finish. And really kind of coming back uh, into the 80s, uh, if you will, with this one. And uh, this did have the sleeve, and I always find it funny with Bob Dylan how often he doesn't include the lyrics to his albums. He makes us really work for it. And it's interesting that they would just have uh, advertisements for a whole bunch of Bob Dylan albums, and then it's that's a nice picture and everything like that, but uh, he never seems to include the lyrics, or not always, anyway. And this was on the classic uh, Columbia label. So Bob Dylan's Infidels. I, again, he has so many great songs, so many great albums, but for whatever reason, I really, really enjoy this album. Okay, talk about turning the volume to 11. Vanilla Fudge, rock and roll. Wasn't really familiar with this album, familiar with Vanilla Fudge, but this was their last studio album uh, before uh, getting together years later. But in terms of their um, sort of uh, tenure through the 60s, this came out in 1969 on the Atlantic label. And again, it's Vanilla Fudge, so there's uh, certainly you know enough covers and things like that uh, through it. But, man, is this rockin'. Like, really good. And I picked this up at uh, a pretty reasonably price, and I'm very happy to see it sort of came with the... Because this was on the Atco label, so I'm assuming that this is a original sleeve. I just love when they're advertising a whole bunch of other various albums at the time. And this is just... They put so many album covers on this one. <laughs> there you go all genres, and uh, nice weight to this uh, album, and uh, on the classic uh, Atco yellow label. So, yeah, and it's, man, is this, this is rockin', absolutely, it's a great, it's a very appropriate title for it. All right, uh, we've got Billy Joel's The Piano Man, finally picked up a copy of this uh, on vinyl, this is a little bit worn, but that's all right, and, you know, Piano Man is such a great song, you know, we've heard it so many times, um, but still, just a great album. I, I forgot this had uh, some sort of like an insert, and it, I don't think, yeah, it's just the, and I don't think it's half of the sleeve or anything like that. It doesn't appear to be, but that just gives you the, all the credits and everything. And then, of course, once again, on the classic Columbia label. All right. And I don't know if I've shown this one before, uh, George Thorogood and the Destroyers, uh, the great uh, early album, first album. And this was on uh, the Rounder label, but uh, manufactured and distributed by Quality Records uh, in Canada. And you've got uh, one bourbon, one scotch, one beer, nice early recording of this one. You know, great blues rocking from start to finish. It's George Thorogood, you gotta love him. Yeah, on the uh, Rounder Records. And, whoops. Let me on the other side there. And there you go. All right, got to get a little bit of Canadian content in. How about BTO, Bachman Turner Overdrive? And talk about another great rockin' album. Uh, when you got Give Me Your Money, Please, uh, Hold Back the Water, Blue Collar, uh, you know, th Thank You for the Feelings, Stayed Awake All Night, you know, great Canadian. Randy Bachman, uh, leaving the Guess Who, and forming this band. You know, just straight up rock and roll, no nonsense, no heavy, <laughs> heavy lyrics or anything like that. 
But I do love this gatefold, and this is one that uh, opens up from the inside, which I always uh, enjoy. And this was on the Mercury label, and I haven't really come across the, this style of the label until just uh, recently. I do like that uh, Mercury label. That's very interesting. Okay, there you have that. And, uh, yeah, maybe we'll uh, squeeze in just one more, uh, another Canadian one for you, uh, Dominic uh, Troiano. Uh, we've talked about this uh, individual. He was with the Guess Who, also with the uh, James Gang, and this is his first solo album, I think from roughly 1972. Very soulful, very funky, and I do love the artwork uh, on this one. Just a lot of detail. And then... Very nice. And yeah, he's you know extraordinary guitarist. Uh, does vocals on this one, and this also on the uh, same uh, Mercury label. All right, so that's going to wrap it up. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll chat again. Hit subscribe and like, and of course the uh, bell notification thing. Take care. Bye bye.